Hey, what's up all my chef and chef -ess? It's your boy, Chef Cheney. And I know you see the surroundings. It's not my kitchen. I'm actually visiting tonight. I want to thank two friends for inviting me to their kitchen. And we're going to cook tonight in their kitchen. Let me bring them in. Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, come on in. Chef this, Paul. This is my brother right here, Kim Wilson, and his lovely wife, Janet. So, hey, we got something special for you tonight. So just stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to start seasoning some meat. And Kim's going to take us through how he prepares this meat. So stay with us. Absolutely. All right. All right, all my chef and chef -ess, I'm back. And like I told you, Mr. Wilson here, he has a Greek Cajun salmon that he's going to prepare. He's going to tell us a little story right quick. So let me turn it over to him. This is your kitchen, Mr. Wilson. Thank you, Paul. First, again, welcome to the Wilson Kitchen tonight. And I got to tell you a little bit of a backstory. And it started just last week, or actually it started uh, during Christmas when we all received air fryers for a Christmas present from our fear, fearless leader. And we had not really done any uh, cooking with the air fryer, but we started and now that's all we use, the air fryer. We use it so much, Paul, we bought a second one, a bigger wow, one, so we can, we can cook two of our uh, components of our meal at one time, very, very quickly, but cook two at one time. And tonight, we, we're gonna have three going, but we're just gonna concentrate on the salmon because we talked about the salmon last week at our meeting. That's right. And our uh, counterparts wanted a video of how to do <laughs> the Greek Cajun salmon. So start with very virgin olive oil and we put that in a mister we don't use spray we use the mister to get our oil on the on the salmon and tonight we're going to use cavender's greek seasoning cayenne because we like it hot Woo, look kick yeah a little kick a little cumin to add to the kick and a little garlic powder not salt garlic powder as well now, one recommendation I'd make to you, if you don't want it super hot, use smoked paprika instead of the cayenne pepper. There you go. That'll make it a little, uh, that'll take it down just one notch. So the first thing you do, Paul. Yes, sir. Chef Paul, excuse me. Show us how to do it. We're going we're gonna to put the, we're going to spray. I'd like to do the backside of the fish first. And let me just tell you, we get a slab, either Costco or Sam's, of salmon. And then we cut it up in about seven inch, or, or excuse me, seven ounce fillets. But anyway, you put your you put your olive oil on, you kind of rub that in. Now I think it's important to put these in on on a certain order. I start with my cavenders, Paul. All right. That's my base. And I put that on my fish, on my salmon. This is what makes it the Greek part of the salmon. Put a good coating on there. Next thing we go to is we go to the cayenne. And depending on what kind of heat you like is how much you put on there. But I, as you can see, I coated pretty good, Paul. Yeah, you got a good dose on there. Pretty good. Cumin, gotta have the cumin, man. Love the cumin on there. Now what's the flavor with the cumin? It's kind of a, I would say, um, I'd say a Latin flavor because it, it's like a, almost you'll have a cumin and tacos. Mm -hmm. So it has a little bit of a, it, it complements the cayenne very well. A little Latin flavor. Now, I'm putting garlic powder. I'll tell you, before we started cooking in the air fryer, we actually cracked garlic and put fresh garlic on. But the air fryer tends to crisp that up a little bit too much. So we've gone to the powder. So I got the back side of the fish done. I'm going to flip it over, and we're going to repeat the process. Remembering, I think the order is important. There you go. In all things. Stick to the order, chef and chefette. Stick to the order. We're going to put our very virgin olive oil on first. Just give a little coating there. Cavenders. That's the Greek. A little heat. A little heat, that makes it the Cajun, right? Greek Cajun. Okay, next. Cumin. The cumin, the little Latin flavor. A little Latin, hey. Gotta have a little Latin. 
no dancing in my kitchen. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. no, no, sorry, no. Chef. Sorry, Chef. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just kidding there. And then, of course, the garlic powder. The next step is we're going to preheat the air fryer. Five minutes, 400 degrees. That's our next step. We're coming right back to you. And just in case you haven't noticed, I want you to be able to see clearly. It's 2020, everybody. Make sure you have your vision set. All right, we'll be right back with you. 2020. All right, all my chef and chef -ess, we're back. You know what? We're, get, we're getting ready to cook some of the Greek Cajun. Cajun salmon. Chef Kim Wilson. But before that, let me tell, I have to tell a quick story. So a couple years ago, my boss, he got me the Instapot. Got it for Christmas, got it for the leadership team. So I became an Instapot sensation, as you can say. So he's here today, so we have to bring him on screen. Come on over here. Tip Villarobia, he's responsible. So after that, this year, he comes back with the air fryer. And so Mr. Wilson has taken it from there. So Kemp, go ahead, let's, let's go ahead and start cooking and show people how this uh, air fryer works. So we preheated the air fryer, right? Now, let me just add this. I don't anticipate I'll come become quite the sensation that Chef Paul has with the air fryer, with the uh, Instapot. But anyway, first thing you wanna do, you wanna spray the inside and it's recommended that you not use ham or something like that. Again, we use the mister with the actual olive oil. We'll coat the inside of the air fryer and now we're going to put our salmon in there right and we're going to put this salmon in here and all four of these pieces will fit in here very nicely and we're going to cook this for six minutes at 400 degrees give them a quick view so they can see how you have it oh man look at that is that not pretty look at that just wait till you see it when it comes up. Turn it on. We're going to go six minutes at 400 degrees. Or 400, six minutes. Here we go. All right, he has it now set. Now we're cooking. Hey, we're going to come right back to you in six minutes. We're going to have some salmon. Woo! Greek Cajun oh. salmon. I'm sorry, brother. Greek Cajun salmon. All right, stay tuned. It's been six minutes. Oh, it looks good. Look at that. Look at that. What oh, is that, Paul? That is the Greek Cajun, Cajun salmon. salmon. Now Ready what, to eat. Now, what's important, got to let it rest five minutes. Got to let it we rest. We got to wait that long? We can wait that long. I'm uh -oh. hungry. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got people ready to eat. All right. Five minutes. Thanks for joining us. We're going to come back in five minutes, and you're going to see it on our plate, and we're going to give it a taste. All right. All right, all my chef and chef, it, it is time to eat. I hope you're ready because I know I'm ready. We have the food here properly prepared by Chef Kemp Wilson over there. We also have some wine to go with our dinner. We have a sweet potato and some asparagus. It is time to chow down. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. I'm ready. <laughs> you ready, Kemp? I'm ready. Give it a try. Come on, let's taste it. Let oh, us know how it goodness. tastes. It's falling apart just like you want it to. Greek Cajun salmon. Oh, oh did you hear that? <laughs> Greek Cajun salmon. Oh. <laughs> chef, Chef Ed, I got to let you go because I got to dig into this. Wait a minute. You know what? Let me try. Oh, it's so tender. Oh! <laughs> Air fryer. Woo! Chef, That's good. I'm going to have to put that Instapot down. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to get your air fryer. Hey, so stay tuned. Also, remember, if you haven't uh, signed on to my YouTube channel, Chef Cheney, follow me on Pinterest, Chef Cheney, or email me at chefcheney1911 at gmail.com. I'm, I'm starting 2020 off right. I got that 2020 vision, and this meal right here is just going to help me. Again, thanks for following me. Take care. See everybody soon. Bye.